everybody remain calm, remain calm. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is getting the number eight back. Welcome back to Break Hard. My name is Matt. And ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Well, we got the number back. Dale Earnhardt Jr. will be getting his famous number eight back. The trademark to that will be transferred from DEI over to DEJ Holdings, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Holdings, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. will have complete control of that again. Well, it will expire on June 3rd from DEI. DEI's portion of that trademark holding is set to expire on June 3rd. Teresa Earnhardt has up until that point to renew it, but it appears that she has instead transferred the rights for that trademark over to DEJ Holdings, meaning that Dale Earnhardt Jr. now controls that famous number eight. Of course, when he left DEI at the end of 2007, that number stayed with the team. Teresa would not let him take the number with him, wouldn't let him take the font, wouldn't let him take anything, right? She holds a grudge. And she's still holding grudges because she renewed the number one trademark just a couple weeks ago because I guess she really doesn't like Ty Norris and what he had to say on the Dale Earnhardt Jr. download podcast. But up until this point, she's held on to the number eight. Hasn't done anything with it, but there's been enough DEI number eight merch for sale out there that, you know, it warranted her holding on to it. She can continue to prove that she was using it as an active trademark. It's not that it's getting more difficult because she could have 100% done the same thing that she's done with the number three in the Dale Earnhardt line and roll out a NASCAR Classics line, right? Because at the end of the day, Dale Earnhardt sold the seventh most amount of merch last year in NASCAR, even though he's been gone for 23 years at this point. She could have done the same thing with Dale Jr. Always chose not to. So now it appears, or we're just waiting on approval from the United States Patent and Trademark Office to approve the transfer over to Dale Earnhardt Jr. Holdings, and they'll have control of it. They applied for the trademark on May 14th, so just about 10 days ago at this point. Uh, there's an approval process time, but fully expect it to be approved and he to have control of it. So what does this mean? Well, it means that Dale Earnhardt Jr. is getting control of that number eight font. So the famous number eight, right? The one that hasn't been used since Eric Almirola, last used in 2008 and has sat in purgatory since then, will be in control of him. He's free to do whatever he wants with it. Does that mean he's going, going to go out and start a charter and feel the number eight car? No. I've seen a ton of those comments on Twitter after I posted this the first time. That's not, that's not what this means. He has control of this, meaning that he can use it on good. So he can turn around and create Dale Earnhardt Jr. number eight merchandise. Once again, whether it has butt on it or not remains to be seen uh, if they're going to do some sort of throwback along those lines. But in the goods and services that they applied for at DEJ Holdings to use this number eight trademark on, it literally covers everything. It starts off with metal goods, metal license plate signs, um, street signs, all those things that go along with that. Electrical and scientific apparatuses, mainly magnets, headphones, branding on any type of electronic devices, keychains, jewelry, um, lapel pins, all of that's another class. Printed matters, mainly decals, static decals, posters, bumper stickers, trading cards, calendars, all the things that you would possibly want to print the number eight on are covered in that. Backpacks, all bag purposes, wallets, duffel bags, backpacks, everything that's in that class. Plastic novelty license plates, plastic signs, uh, non-metal seat cushions, and display cases. If you want a display case for your number eight die cast with a number eight etched on it, you'll probably be able to get it at some point. Housewares and glass beverages, beverage wear, namely cups, mugs, drinking glasses, etc. You understand what that is all about. Beach towels, banners, flags. Get your number eight flag. Hang it out front once again and let everybody know <laughs> that you are part of Dale Jr. Nation as they so uneloquently named it at one point. Clothing, namely t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, fleece tops, any type of shirt, including one-piece garments for children uh, are all available um, to have the number eight put on it. Plush toys, miniature toys, die cast cars, bobbleheads, action figures, everything else in another class. And finally, the last class, the one that everybody I think cares about up to this point, entertainment services in the nature of professional athletes competing in automobile racing events and exhibitions. Meaning that number eight trademark can be plastered on the side of a NASCAR Xfinity car, a NASCAR cup car and raced in competition. Dale Jr. can show up promoting the number eight at an event. They can use that towards you know whatever he wants to use that towards it can replace the number eight font that he currently has in the xfinity series they can run number eight throwbacks in the cup series if kyle bush wants to run a number eight bud throwback next year at darlington he can do that with of course the permission of dale earnhardt jr to allow them to do that if they wanted to but that's what all of that means they can once again use it in racing he controls 
everything to do with that number eight. And it's an interesting time, right? Because I think at this point we have to stop calling her the Wicked Witch of the Southeast because she finally like reached out that olive branch. Yeah, Teresa's holding a grudge against Ty Norris, it seems like, and not letting he or Trackhouse have access to that number one trademark because she has, you know, extended it until I believe 2033 at this point. But with the number eight, maybe this is like the peace offering. She's transferring it over to DEJ Holdings. They have a four-part Earnhardt documentary coming out next year on Amazon. Maybe she's going to be a part of it. After all, Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Dirty Mo are executive producers on that project. So maybe. But none of this tracking of the number eight saga in the trademark along with Teresa and what she's going to do with it would not have happened without Joey Tartamella on Twitter. And we've got him here live to talk to him real quick about this. All right, guys, welcome in. We have Joey Tartamella joining us, who's been keeping track of the entire number eight saga with the trademark going on between Teresa Earnhardt and Dale Earnhardt Jr. How's it going, Joey? And how did this kind of even start where you're keeping track of it? Oh, uh, hi. Thanks for bringing me on. Um, honestly, the how I figured the whole thing out was I was sitting in my school library and I was bored. So because I usually do this every other year, I've been doing it since middle school looking on the USPTO on the eight trademark. And I noticed it was supposed to expire in June. And I'm like, I'm gonna tweet about this. This was the day of the heroin stuff, I believe. Okay. Yep. Um, it took a whole day to get everywhere. By the next day, I'm getting blown up by left and right. Everyone's asking me questions. And I just didn't know how to answer them at first. Then you're making videos on it. And that amazed me. I didn't expect me to get to YouTube. That's where the whole thing. And I've noticed every single DEI video is on your most watched videos in the last month. Yeah. I believe it's three of them. It's crazy how much people still care about the old DEI numbers and like that's the relationship. Yeah. yeah, that's what amazed me as well. Especially the diehard DEI fans that have been messaging me, asking me what's going on. So with today's news, where the trademark for the number eight is going to transfer from DEI seemingly over to DEJ, the Dale Earnhardt Jr. Holdings, uh, we talked about this a little bit before, but have you been getting blown up by those same DEI fans? Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> Dale Earnhardt reached out to me. Like, he's he was amazed. From, from what I could tell from his Twitter post, he was just amazed. Yeah, He it's... did not expect it to happen. I don't think he anybody did. say did. in the first post I ever did. Um, he was going to throw a party or some stuff. And I <laughs> joked around with him. I'm like, you still throwing that party? <laughs> he absolutely is going to be. This is great for his brand, actually. I didn't even think about that. But for him, yeah, this is great. Yeah, because he usually runs that. 81. Yeah. Yes. Um, now, I could see Classics merch coming back because I know easily because I'm wearing a Budweiser shirt right now. This is new. Brand new <laughs> racing merch. Like, like, I would not be in my head if they decide to roll out some new merch. I yeah. would pick it up instantly. Right. If people have been to NASCAR races recently, there's like a NASCAR Classics merch hauler that's at every track now. And seemingly, this yeah. would be a perfect spot for all of that merch to go, would be the Dale that's, Earnhardt number eight stuff. From what I can tell, that hauler has been there since 22 or, more, or later. Yeah. Yeah, it has. And they have like a line of Earnhardt stuff in there, and there's Gordon stuff, and then some other drivers from back in the day, Bill Elliott and a few other. But Dale Jr. would absolutely rake in cash by doing this. Yeah, I really expect it. Once it happens, you'll see new merch everywhere. Yeah, I fully expect that as well. So the date on the DEI portion of the trademark expires on June 3rd. The Dale Earnhardt Jr. Holdings applied for the trademark on May 14th. Obviously, there's some sort of there's a waiting period in there of the approval process. So I think you and I kind of went back and forth. We expect this to be approved probably by June 3rd or at least around that point. Yeah. Because I believe, it, I think it was last week or sometime this week, they ap applied for the transfer of ownership. And I think it was approved by Teresa and DEI. I think they finally gave up. I yeah. think they're, like you said in your previous videos, here, take it. You can have it. Yeah, like the the olive branch in a sense, like the peace offering yeah, yeah. of like, here you go. I did mention before we hopped on here uh, in the first part of this video, I wonder if this has anything to do with the Dale Earnhardt doc. Uh, docu series that's going to come out next year, and wondering if she's going to be a part of it because it is in conjunction with Dirty Mo Media as well. That's actually a good question. I think she, if this whole thing does work out, I really do see her coming on. 
But I think that if that happens, that episode will be probably the most talked about because it's Teresa has not been the public eye since 2010. Like no yeah. one's seen her at a track. It's crazy. Like yeah, she hasn't really? been seen. The eight hasn't been on track since 2008. It's just been sitting in purgatory since then, um, at least in the font that we know it as. Yeah. Um, obviously, Kyle Bush has it as well. I did see a lot of people getting confused that Kyle Bush would a lose this number. A lot of yeah, yeah, a lot of people yeah. getting confused. That's not going to happen. Um, the yeah. RCR style will stay, and they'll still have that number, assuming they want it. But Dale Earnhardt Jr. will own the style of the traditional number eight that everybody knows it as. Yeah, RCR still owns two eight fonts still, so I don't yeah. know if they can really get in the third one. Yeah, yeah, maybe it's just like on a lease program to uh, run a throwback or something like that. So, yeah, yeah. that's what I'd expect if they right. ever were to do a throwback, lease, lease it, lease it out. Exactly. <laughs> So, yeah, I guess we'll have to kind of wait around for this to be officially official, but by all indications, it's going to happen. We just have to wait for that official approval from the USPTO to get this done. And then when that happens, then, like you said, floodgates open for everything. Correct. Yeah. All right, man. Let everybody know where they can find you at, because Joey, like I said, if it wasn't for him, he keeps track of all of this stuff. And it tipped me off and put it on my radar. I found it today just by accident looking up something else yeah. for the 88 number uh so let them know where they can find you at yeah i lost it when you told me about that like i did not expect it um in our dm i literally yeah, sent him yeah. capital letters it is happening <laughs> and then it was just us i, went, I was responding. like what the what the f yeah. yeah um you can find me over at jack rich 18 on all platforms uh you could find me also at ski car on twitter discord everything go find me there that makes so much left sense. Turn, left turn call, I'm basically there as well. And Sectator Media. Sectator Media, yeah. The company that got me all started in, in journalism. There you go. Awesome, Joey. Thanks for joining. No problem. All right. Thanks to Joey for joining. Like I said, without Joey kind of keeping track of this and putting it on my radar at first, I wouldn't have found it on Friday when I did. And the only reason I found it is because I was looking up the trademark for the number 88 car. And then when I was searching in the depths of the DEJ holdings within the trademark uh, office portal that you can look at, I saw the number eight and saw it was pending and that's how all of this came about. So shout out to Joey for keeping track of it because without him, I probably would not have paid that much attention to it at first. Uh, so all the credit goes to him for this. But for now, yes, uh, officially June 3rd is when it expires for DEI. Fully expect it to be approved by the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office for DEJ Holdings, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Holdings, to have this number eight. And going forward, what are the plans with it? Remains to be seen. But at least the famous number eight will be back in the hands of the guy that, in fact, did make it famous. Sorry, Eric Almirola and Mark Martin. But this, after all, was Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s number. And maybe, just maybe, we'll get a Budweiser throwback on the Xfinity car or maybe even Kyle Busch's cup car next year. Either way, this is good for the sport going forward uh, at a time where all we want to talk about seemingly is charter negotiations and what kind of crazy things might happen in silly season. So let me know in the comments what you think about this. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.